So what is variance analysis? Variance analysis is the difference. Variance is the difference between budgeted figures, means standard, minus the actuals. We have a lot of kind of variances like material, labor, overheads, and sale variances. So today we will be able to only cover the material and price variances because it has a lot of questions. So a manufacturing firm plan to manufacture and sell 100,000 <coughs> units of product using the year at a variable cost of 4 and a fixed cost of 2. This is the information. We need some time costs, we need material, we need labor. So depends, like if he is asking about quantity variances, so we need quantities, right? If he is asking about price variances, as we can see that in this question he is talking about variable cost per unit is 4 and fixed cost is 2. The firm shall shop, uh, fell short of its goals and only manufactured 80,000 units. Now this is where the concept of flexing comes. Suppose if I thought something on 100,000, so my all expenses, other things, has been designed up according to 100,000. But actually we couldn't reach to 100,000, we reached to 80,000. So blindly we cannot compare the result of 80,000 with the 100,000. We have to do one process called flexing. Flexing means actual quantity into standard price, right? So if you remember, these are two poles. This is actual, this is standard. And in between, we have to do some flex. Right? So this uh, this question is like that. So he said that 80,000 units at a total incurred cost of 550. So difference is there, 80,000 and 100,000. Mm -hmm. The firm manufacturing cost variance. He is talking about cost variance. Cost variance and cost price variance. Right? Okay, so we will see this. The company plan to produce 100,000 at 6, which is 4 plus 2, or a total of 600,000, right? So total 100,000 into 6 is 600,000, but we managed to produce only 80,000 and the cost is in front of us. Okay, now because fixed costs remain fixed, and only variable cost goes plus minus, right? So what we have to do is, uh, we have 400,000 of variable cost, 200,000 of <coughs> fixed cost. Total production was only 80,000, which cost us 550. So what he did is, he tell you, based on the scenario, that the 100,000 unit will cost you 600,000, out of that 200 is fixed and the variable is 400,000. There we produce 80,000 and our cost is 515. Okay, the flexible budgeting for the production of 80,000 include variable cost of 320. What is flexing? Flex, flexing is taking the actual quantity multiplied with the standard price. So we multiply with the standard price that is for variable cost only because you know if you take for total cost it will lead you to a wrong concept right because fixed cost remain fixed and the variable activity will go up and down right if you produce 80,000 unit cost uh, fixed cost or 100,000 unit or zero unit 200,000 is the cost always right Above than that, we have variable cost. This is the concept that fixed cost, even we go home, we sleep, we don't sleep, we have to pay the rent at the end of the month, right? This is fixed cost. Plus, if we go home, we eat something, uh, means that is a variable. So as much we can eat, well, that is variable. Same way, uh, this question is more variance, cost variance. First of all, when you see a question of variance analysis, always it asks you to flex. Because 100,000 unit result cannot be compared with 80,000. So we have to see the flexing part. Flexing is actual quantity into standard price. This is the formula. 
So actual quantity is 80,000 yeah. and the standard price for variable is 4. If I multiply with 6, it will be wrong because fixed cost will be in fixed. Okay. So then we have 320. The fixed cost would remain 200,000, right? Mm -hmm. So now this is 320 plus 200,000, right? This is means the cost of producing 80,000 will be 500 and 20 okay then we say the total flexible cost are 520 the actual cost remains 515 so the variance is 5000 look actually we produce 80000 and our standard was 100 units right this is unit this is also unit this is price Price of this is given standard price. This is standard quantity. Standard price variable cost is 4, fixed cost is 2. And total cost is 6. six right? This is what the question situation is. Now we have to see the variance. In between is flex. Flex is equal to actual quantity into standard you know, for variances, what is the concept? In all variances, we have three informations. One is actual, one is standard, because the quantity is always different, so we have to do another process called flexing. So we make flexing, what is the formula for flex? Flex is actual quantity into standard price. So actual quantity is from here, that is 80,000, right? Into standard price from here, that is 320,000. 200,000 is the fixed cost, which does not change with the output, right? Because you know, 4 means 400,000 is the variable cost, and 200,000 is the, because this into this, this into this, right? So 600,000 is the, all right? So what, now we are flexing, we flex on the variable cost, but fixed cost will always remain same. So total is 520. Now he said actual cost is 550. So if you take the difference of flex of this, this is 5000. Favorable or unfavorable? Actual cost is less. Flexible, flexible cost is Based on past experience, the company has developed the following budget formula for estimating its shipping expenses. The company shipped average 12 LBs per shipment. And he says when we go for the shipment cost, formula is six cost, six fixed cost 16,000 plus variable cost into the quantity shipped. This is the formula. So this yeah, okay, so we have to find information, we have to put it here, so our shipping cost will come, right? So he says actual shipping cost for the month is 21,000 and the appropriate monthly flexible budget allowance means flex, right? For actual quantity into standard price. But the, this is given already. They give the equation, we have to find. For shipping cost for the purpose also appropriate monthly flexible budget allowance, right? Now see sale order, shipments, unit ship, sales, and total pound ships. This is, see this. But you know, you have to see this is budgeted, this is actual, right? For the flexing we need actual into standard price. So he says 16,000 uh, into, this is the equation, and we put 12,300 pounds time, so therefore to determine the flexible budgeting amount, multiply this with this, you will get to arrive 6150. Adding this into 16,000, the total will produce 22150. Now actually, this is the total shift that he is talking about shift, right? Unit ship means quantity. Yeah. This is one unit. It has weight. Pounds. 
Yeah. OE is A gave us L B S, right? So this is unit. He is not talking about multiply with unit. He is talking about the weight. So we will take pound shift here. Right? That's why we took it. That's why. Unit he didn't ask, actual unit. He is asked about weight, quantity. You know, for, because he gave me an equation 16,000 plus, oh, in the question it is 0.5 into how many, because flexing, he is talking about flexing, I need actual figure. He want flexing. Why? Because he said here, the appropriate monthly flexible budget allowance, right? Flexing what amount I need? Actual actual weight, actual quantity. What is actual column? This is actual column. And this is the actual pound shift, right? 12,300. Yeah, okay, so this plus this, it will be our answer because he already gave us the equation. I can do in the same way actual standard into flexing. Flexing I have to take. For flexing I need actual quantity which is I took it here. And then I have to take to the variable cost. Then I have to add to fixed cost. So you can make a formula for even the last question that we did. You know see this question. I use the same equation. Fixed cost was 200,000. Right? Plus 4 into actual quantity was, yeah, this is. Then we will compare with less with actual. You know, this is 550. So both ways you can solve the question, which makes sense. But you should know flex, flexing is actual quantity into standard price. Standard price in this question is given in a very handsome way that is. Point into LB shift, pound shift. The question, if he says in the question take weight, so I will take weight. If he says take units, I will take units. So, but I have to be very sure. Then.